All right, Miles, we're out here this morning, and I think it's uh, like 12 degrees out, right? Uh, it's not warm. And what are we going to do this morning? So we're going to check out a few things. How do you pour concrete in the wintertime? Right. That's kind of the question of the day. So let's, uh, you might already hear one of the uh, hints here, but uh, we'll kind of walk you through how we pour concrete in the wintertime and how you do it right. So uh, you, you can hear it already, but kind of over next to me here, and I'll have to kind of yell probably and stay closer to the camera. But uh, this is our ground thawing unit. So basically it's a large trailer that's housing, basically when you simplify it down, a big boiler with some hose attached to it. You have a big old generator on the front here. So you have a big old Kubota generator, a big old diesel tank, and basically you can see the wire coming down here from the generator and that goes kind of into the trailer unit. Let's walk around, I'm gonna try and yell so you can still hear me. Coming down into here and that's gonna power the unit. Right? So let's take a little peek on the inside on both ends and we can kind of get an idea of what it is. So it's actually warm. I opened up that door and I just got hit in the face with some, some heat. You can see right here, uh, well it's not kicked on right now, but that's where you'd be able to see the pilot light lit. So this is a big boiler here, right? And that's heating up, uh, and it's heating up all these tubes in the back. Let's go check those out. So coming around back here, let's open this bad boy up. So right here is all of our heated tubes. This is actually quite warm to the touch. I believe it runs at about 180 degrees. Uh, basically what happens is this just cycles through that boiler. You have this big spool. In order to get this heated up, you want to get your boiler going and leave it all spooled together so it can keep the heat all in one spot. But once that gets hot enough, you can see it's running down into these blankets here. We keep it all covered underneath these blankets and it's running into the foundation here, which if you watch one of the earlier videos, we're talking about this permanent wood foundation. So if you're interested in that, check out one of our earlier videos. Well, let's go check it out real quick underneath and inside the foundation so that we can see exactly what's going on. But before we do, just kind of step back, Dad, and you can see we have uh, openings here that we have currently covered, and we have the whole top uh, tarp. So basically a big old umbrella keeping that heat in, and then in our openings we just have it covered up. Let's go take a peek so you can see. So, Let's see, let me step inside. So stepping inside here, you can see we have it completely enclosed. Close this back off. And you can kind of hear another thing going on. Let me talk about that in a second. But basically what you have is those hoses that you saw in the trailer. And that's just run down through this window here and then it's strung out and around. Just back and forth, back and forth. And what is that doing? That's heating this ground up so we keep all the frost out of the ground so that way when you pour your concrete, you actually have a good foundation that you're pouring it on. Here, let's pull up one of these blankets here and we'll show you what we're talking about. See, here, where we've got those hoses running, right? So every like six about inches and you can actually get a good uh, visual on what's going on here and these things are, are warm to the touch so those string back and forth we have a layer of plastic to keep that heat and uh, down into the ground then we have the blanket to keep the cool air from getting down into the ground so you kind of have a double layering effect I'm gonna cover these back up here real quick and then I'm gonna touch on one more thing as soon as I do and that's what happens now when we pull all this up and we're pouring the concrete we don't have heat here in here anymore well Attached to that boiler, we actually have this radiator as well. So same thing's going on. We have that uh, liquid coming through and going through this radiator, which has a fan, you can hear it. It's blowing that hot air into this area. So what'll happen is we have concrete coming in a, about less than an hour. We'll pull all this up, get it all out of the way, prep the site, prep the ground, while this heater, this radiator, blowing hot air the whole time on this concrete, keeping it warm while it cures. And that'll stay on as long as we need it to 
stay on so that we can cure the concrete. About 72 hours is about how long it takes. But I can tell you, you can't see it on camera, it's way warmer in here than it is outside. It's frosty outside. So if you have any questions, leave some questions on this video. If you want to know more about permanent wood foundations, check out one of our previous videos. If you want to know more about building, uh, check us out at facebook.com. Uh, Building Dreams Construction, also our website, dreamhomesmi.com, or you can email uh, myself, Miles Free, at dreamhomesmi.com, or my brother, John Kevin at dreamhomesmi.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more information on building your beautiful dream home. Thank you.